in this inevitable universe, there are many mysteries about the birth of the universe and its evolution. We have already learnt about one of the mysterious space things, that is, dark energy and dark matter. If you haven't watched it, the video link is in the description. But the most important and dangerous mysterious thing about the space study is a black hole. In fact, until 2018, nobody has ever seen a real black hole. In this video, let's learn many interesting things about black hole, like what is a black hole? How does it grow? What will happen to an object that enters into a black hole? And many more. This black hole has the capability to take away even a big planet. Whatever the thing that once entered into a black hole can never be returned. If we are able to see an object with our eyes, it is because the light is falling on that object and reflecting back. Hence, from the reflected light from the object, we are able to see any object with our eyes. Well, I told you, no one has ever seen a black hole until 2018. And of course, how can anyone see it? because it can also swallow the light that is traveling at a speed of 3 lakh kilometer per second. And therefore, there is no reflection of light from black hole. And hence, you're not able to see a black hole. You can now imagine how powerful this black hole is. Now let's learn about the birth of the black hole. This is much more related to physics, so please pay attention here. Hydrogen is the reason for a star to illuminate brightly. These hydrogen atoms convert into helium in the process of nuclear fission and release an enormous amount of energy and radiation from the star. At one side, energy released from the core of a star moves farther from it, and at another side, star's gravitational force pulls the energy towards it. By acting two equal and opposite forces together, a star can be in a stable state. After some billion years, the hydrogen present in a star will get reduced then gradually the nuclear reactions get degraded and no energy will be released from core. As a result, the core's gravitational force pulls the star towards itself and its size is reduced to become like a small ball. Due to this density will be increased at the core and a sudden blast will happen to a star. This is called a supernova explosion. If the blasted star size is small, then it turns into a neutron star with high density. This neutron star's density is very high, that one teaspoon weight of this star is equal to one million tons weight on the Earth. And if the exploded star size is big, then after its explosion, it will become a black hole. These black hole possess high gravitational force than any other thing in this universe. Likewise, the dead star will become a black hole. All right, let's stop here once. You might get a doubt here. In the previous video in the Sun documentary video, I said, our sun will lose its gravity and expand from the core, and this is how our sun will come to an end one day. And in this video, I am saying that the star's gravitational force will compress to the core, and an explosion will happen due to high pressure and height density and becomes a black hole. Then you may think, which one is true? Please do not confuse here. Note that not all large stars will become a black hole. To become like a black hole, its size must be 20 times greater than our sun. It means there is no possibility of our sun to become a black hole. Our sun will end one day, like I have explained in the sun documentary video. If you have not watched that video yet, the video link is in description. Stars with a size greater than 20 times of our sun will become stellar black holes. These are dangerous and are in millions in number all over the entire universe. Next is supermassive black holes. If a star sized is thousand times more than the sun is exploded, the supermassive black hole will born. These supermassive black holes are usually situated in the middle of the galaxies. The biggest black hole in our galaxy is Sagittarius, a star. You know how its size would be. It has a diameter of length four crore and 40 lakhs kilometers. Imagine how big it would be. It is at a distance of 25, 640 light years from Earth. And as usual, there is no need to worry about the Sagittarius black hole because it do not harm us as it is more far from our Earth. So you can happily start your startups. All the very best for your startups. Black hole is surrounded by an event horizon. Any object that enters into the event horizon can never be returned. Whatever the object entered into this turns round and round 
Then it reaches the center of the black hole. In the middle of this black hole, time runs very slowly. Physics laws are applicable everywhere in the universe except inside a black hole. Some scientists believe a black hole connects two universes. If we enter into a black hole, then we move through the warm hole and can reach the next universe. Some people believe that there is a possibility of time traveling there. And some says that if a human enters into a black hole due to the high gravitational force there, our body gets stretched and moves like small pieces. But we cannot believe anything without a proper evidence and conclusions. There is none who has seen a black hole up until 2018. But in April 2018, our scientist has witnessed a real black hole with help of EHT. Well, I told you earlier that a black hole will attract the light as well, and hence we cannot see a black hole. Then there arise a doubt on how to detect a black hole. Stars near a black hole revolve at a high speed, or a star illuminates with more brightness when it is going into a black hole and releases X-rays. By these two signs, scientists can identify the existence of black holes. Every object in the universe must die in a particular situation, then what about a black hole? Famous scientist Stephen Hawking told that there is an end for the black hole too. Continuous radiation will be released from a black hole, which is Hawking radiation. As a result, the black hole loses its mass and energy. Also, if no object enters into it, then after some years, the black hole size gets reduced and finally evaporated. But it takes a long time, a very long time. So, so long time, for instance, to reduce size by 0.000001%. It takes nearly 10,000 billion, 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 billion years. So imagine how long it takes for a black hole to get evaporated. However, this is how the black hole's life will come to an end finally. That's it, friends. If you like this video, then please do subscribe to our channel, Let's Learn Together, and click on like button and share to your friends and family and turn on the post notifications so that you do not miss any of our valuable knowledge sharing content on space and universe.